Hello everyone, I am Dr. Anjum Rashid. In this video, I will talk about tongue tie and chyloglossia in infants and children. Now normally, the tongue attaches to the floor of the mouth with a web of tissue which is called lingual frenulum. Tongue tie or ankyloglossia is an inborn variation in this structure. The lingual frenulum may be shortened or thickened, restricting movements of the tongue, or it may tether the tongue too close to the tip. Now the tongue tie may affect an infant's ability to latch effectively during breastfeeding and can cause maternal symptoms during breastfeeding as well. Rarely tongue tie may cause mechanical difficulties in the child's speech and oral hygiene. Now sign and symptoms of tongue tie in a baby. To breastfeed successfully, a baby needs to latch onto both the breast tissue and the nipple and the tongue needs to cover the lower gum so the nipple is protected from the damage. So if you are breastfeeding your baby and they may have tongue tie, they may have difficulty attaching to the breast or staying attached for a full feed. Feed for a long time, have a short break, then feed again. Some babies with tongue tie are not able to open their mouths wide enough to latch onto the breast properly. Such babies may be unsettled and seem to be hungry all the time and not gain weight as quickly as they should. Now babies with tongue tie make a clicking sound as they feed. This can also be a sign you need support with the positioning and attachment of your baby at the breast. Difficulties can also be experienced when attempting to introduce solid. The tongue tied baby will accept the solid food by opening the mouth widely enough to receive the spoon. A tight tongue may have difficulty in performing the movements needed for dealing with the solid food. Thus lateral that is sideway movements of the tongue are often difficult or impossible. The tongue protrusion and elevation for accepting the food or licking may also be affected. Other signs that may indicate your baby has a tongue tie include the tongue can't poke out past the lips, the tongue tip cannot touch the roof of the mouth, the tongue cannot be moved sideways to the corners of the mouth. The tongue tip may look flat or square instead of pointy when extended. The tongue tip may also look notched or heart shaped when stick out. Now the front teeth in the lower jaw may have a gap between them. Now the consequences of an untreated tongue tie can be many and varied depending largely on the age of the subject and the severity of the condition. Inability to breastfeed successfully in the presence of a tongue tie can cause a variety of challenges for the infant, mother and the family. For the baby, these may include impact on the milk supply, termination of breastfeeding, the baby failing to thrive, poor bonding between baby and the mother, sleep deprivation, problems with introducing solids. The maternal experience of breastfeeding a tongue tied baby may include pain, nipple discharge, bleeding, blanching or distortion of the nipples, mastitis, nipple thrush or blocked ducts, severe pain with latch or losing latch, sleep deprivation caused by the baby being unsettled and depression or a sense of failure. Now as the child grows older, such tongue may look square or bifid or thickened and too large for the mouth so that it curls up at the sides. Many children with tongue tie will reject food that is difficult to chew or move it around their mouth with their fingers. Habitual gagging, cuffing, choking or vomiting is frequently caused by inadequate tongue mobility and coordination while eating. Such children often continue to be slow picky eaters or fast untidy eaters who chew inadequately, prefer soft foods or suffer the result of aerophagia that is swallowing air while they eat. Also, an inability to clear foods of the teeth and lips with the tongue is common and the child may be unable to chew meat or masticate bulky mouthfuls. Now, poor oral and dental hygiene because of limitation in lingual mobility or habitual incorrect tongue posture usually accompany messy eating habits with food debris remaining on the teeth and lips and causing dental caries. Now, in children with tongue tie, especially in persistent cases, there may be delayed development or deterioration in speech. They may have difficulties creating sounds that need 
the tongue or tongue tip to touch the roof of the mouth such as t d n l s and z sounds or the tongue tip to arch of the floor of the mouth such as the r sounds now another problem in these children is persistence of dribbling salivary profusion due to inadequate coordination of swallowing during speech become both visually and auditory obvious in addition there may be behavior problems and loss of self confidence because they feel and sound different now how to diagnose the corylos ankyloglossia grading scale is a system for noting the type of tongue tie in type 1 the frenulum is thin and elastic and anchors the tip of the tongue to the ridge behind the lower teeth in type 2 the frenulum is fine and elastic and the tongue is anchored 2 to 4 mm from the tip to the floor of the mouth close to the ridge behind the lower teeth in type 3 the frenulum is thick and stiffened and anchors the tongue from the middle of the underside to the floor of the mouth in type 4 the frenulum is posterior or not visible but when touching the area with the fingertips the examiner can feel tight fibers anchoring the tongue with or without a thick and shiny surface on the floor of the mouth now a thorough evaluation consider not only the corylos grade but also how well the child's tongue is able to move now a few words about the treatment if tongue tie is interfering with the feeding speech or oral hygiene or if it is causing discomfort then treatment may be appropriate now phrenotomy or frenulotomy is a surgical procedure to release the frenulum so the tongue can move more freely most babies can feed immediately afterwards next is frenuloplasty it is for more complex cases of tongue tie or for revision procedures it involves plastic surgery of the frenulum speech therapy and tongue exercises may be part of the recovery process Now while these procedures are generally safe but still there are some risk that can occur with the frenulum procedures these include severe bleeding infection injury to the salivary ducts and worsening breathing so a child should be assessed for the possible contraindication to a frenotomy procedure okay friends thanks for watching please like share comment and subscribe to my youtube channel